All right, guys, I'm digging in the same park that I found that presidential candidate watch fob thing. I just found this ring. It's got all these uh, Japanese symbols all over it. Come on, focus. And uh, I thought it was going to be silver, but closer inspection and it's just plated. Just plated. But it's still cool. I like that. Sweet. All right, see if I uh, find anything else here. Look at this spoon. It's been, the handle's been cut off and it's been folded a ton of times. That is so weird. Oops. Really old spoon. Mangled up into nothing. Weird. <laughs> All right. Got another Canadian wheat. This is a George. It's an earlier one. Looks like it's a uh, 1938. Sweet. Alright, see you in the next one. That is one fancy button. I like that one. That should clean up pretty nice. Really cool design on that. Sweet. All right, got first for cell phone. Cool, flip phone. Awesome. <laughs> cool. See you guys in the next one. Okay, this is so bizarre. I just got one of these license plate tabs that was to register your car or whatever, and it's another fifty-five. This is the third one of these I've dug. All of them have been 1955. That is so crazy. Still cool. I like it. Awesome. See you in the next hole. Okay, so I just got me a cool old button. And I believe it's military. So let me see here. Looks the, like... Can you just be able to go to the fence post? And then me and Caleb can uh, the park. Come on, focus. There it is. Oh man, I was hoping that was military. I think it's, I think it's just civilian. I thought that was maybe an insignia pin, but let me see. It's Wait. not. Let me see it. You just on that big cross. This is my niece Jade. Hello. And my son Caleb, and they were hoping to play, but Jade showed up late. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we have to go. Sorry. These look pretty. Say goodbye. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, got me a silver. War nickel. It's a uh, 44P. Get that one cleaned up for you and show you the wrap up. Alright, see you in the next one. Alright guys, so I'm out here in the pouring freaking rain. Because this is the only time I can dig is after work. And I just got a ring that rang up like a nickel. And it's a big old fancy wedding band, so I'm hoping this is gold. It's white though. So it'd have to be white gold. Maybe even platinum. I don't know what platinum rings up like. I've never found it before. Let me see if I can clean this thing out. Tell you what it is. It is uh shoot, no markings, which means it's probably just junk. Dang. Had me going. Alright. See you in the next one. Okay, this is pretty sweet. I just dug a, uh, a wheat at about five or six inches and a pinpointer was still going off in the hole. I figured I was chasing a nail or something because it rang up like a penny and it came out as a penny. So I just wanted to figure out what it was and am I glad I did. Look at that thing. That is a cast iron train. It's in two parts. You can't really see it that well because it's kind of kind of crappy lighting that is freaking sweet that ought to clean up awesome <laughs> and I got both sides of it so totally stoked about that old old toy sweetness all right see if I find anything else
running out of light though, so I may not be able to get it on film. Alright guys, here's the wrap up. We've got 386 in cloud. And a bunch of weird finds today, I have to say. I got uh, a spoon. One tablespoon aluminum. Got uh, a ginormous fishing weight. A toy hammer. It ring up like a penny. Must be uh, copper, I think. But that was pretty cool to find. I like that. Found these keys. And I feel bad for whoever lost all of those. That would just ruin your freaking week. That was on there with it. Busted off. Uh, brass handle. Another one of these things, man. Always with the 55. Killing me. Uh, got a couple fishing weights. A couple of 22 casings. Here's the uh, cell phone. Cleaned up a little bit. Kind of cool. First cell phone. Uh, let's see. Here's the spoon. That thing was really mangled. And, uh, get a, a make off of that. It says something silver. I'm guessing silver nickel or something like that. Silver plated. So it's definitely brass. That is crazy how that's so folded up. Uh, let's see. A little lip stew. Lip lipstick tube it said Revlon on there uh, this what I thought was a really fancy button I think is the back of a pocket watch or uh, a locket because it's got a hinge hinge there on that side and I think that was where it connected on that side but it's got a lot of really fancy pattern on there I think I destroyed it trying to clean it up though. Can't really see too much of it anymore. But that was pretty cool. I usually only find the the ugly bits of pocket watches. That was pretty neat. Uh, this button here with the cross torches. I tried to look that up. The only thing I could find is that cross torches is ancient Greek. And it's supposed to signify wisdom and knowledge. So still can't figure out what that would have been on or why. Uh, let's see. This is a tie clip. Just a cheap old one. Nothing fancy about it. Uh, got the uh, little fakey Japanese ring. With all the uh, symbols there. I don't know if anybody can read Japanese and tell me what any of these things mean. But uh, I'm sure they're like health, wellness, and good fortune and all that crap. Here's my ring. It's not anything fancy. I was really excited about that one. But it's just one of those spinner rings. And uh, if you look closely on it, you can see it's got little scorpions on the little spinny part so man that one had me going I uh, got that little ring there it's got a little stone in it nothing fancy about that one just a junker uh, pocket knives keep finding these this one was one of those uh, Swiss ones with all the different fancy tools in it the scissors fell out and another pocket knife, just nothing but the guts left on that one. A uh, cylinder for a cap gun. Got the Batmobile. Uh, let's see, uh, 89. And let's see, I also got this, I think is part of a, a fishing pole. Eagle Claw. Uh, 98 rabies vaccine dog tag thing and my best finds got a 56 D Jefferson there's my 38 Canadian wheat uh, 1944 silver nickel 
P mint mark. And a ton of wheats. Got a 32D, 35S, 36, uh, 40, 41, uh, 46, I think, 48, 49, and a 55. Not the double die variety. And uh, this is really cool. This is a radiator cap from a Model A Ford. That was pretty neat to find that. That was really deep uh, in a curb strip. And then I've got what I think is one of the better finds is my toy train. This thing is freaking awesome. And I found where they uh, were supposed to screw together and just kind of threw a screw in there to hold them but this thing is freaking awesome it took a little time to scrape the dirt and rust off of it but I didn't put it in electrolysis yet um, I looked this one up though and it was supposed to be longer it actually stuck out to about there and it had a smokestack and a lantern thing on the front and a cow catcher in the front and uh, an extra set of wheels was over here too but, uh, and this is a very old train. I think it was dated, uh, 20, late 20s, uh, early 30s. And, uh, and I was digging with my AT Pro and the batteries died in it. So I went to go grab the batteries out of my son's Ace 250. But, uh, the batteries were low enough in that one that it wouldn't even turn on the AT Pro. So I just started hunting with this Ace 250 and got, you know, a penny signal with it, dug it down. It was a wheat and the hole was still beeping. So I figured, you know, let's see what else is in the hole. Thinking it was probably just a nail or something and pulled out half of that train and was like, holy crap. So I was glad to found the other half in there. Wish I could find the rest of it I may have to go and dig that hole back up and try to find uh, the front end of that sucker but uh very cool I would have never found that with my AT Pro I would have skipped right over that as big iron and just kept going um, I also wanted to show you this thing I don't know what this is I was hoping you guys could help me with some of these what's it's I, no clue what that one is I was thinking maybe like a, a float for the back of a toilet maybe um, and then this thing, I know it's part of a car. I want to say it's like a thermostat or something like that, but I can't remember exactly what these things are. I find them all the time though. Uh, and then this, what's it? It's aluminum. It's pretty busted, but man, no clue what that thing is. So anybody knows on my what's it's? Uh, just comment, and uh, thanks for watching. Take care.